Hello everybody, Pancakes here, and welcome back to Let's Play Bioshock Infinite Burial at Sea Episode 2. Anyway, we got the lock of hair, so we can finally get back to Rapture. Although that will probably prove more difficult than it sounds. Okay, so there's definitely a lot of splicers nearby. I think I'm going to have to rely quite a bit on this peeping Tom plasmid here. Oh yeah, there are a lot of them. Which means I'm going to have to be very solid snake-like. Okay. A little bit too close. A little bit too close. I could be going crazy, but I could have sworn when I first got this plasmid that it was sort of segmented. I'm coming for you. Although that could be from, I think I picked up an upgrade actually to Peeping Tom. That's probably why that changed. Oh god, this isn't good. Come on, come on. No, no, <laughs> damn it. All right, looks like we're going loud. Oh god. Okay, looks like I'm gonna switch the heavy weaponry. It's getting to the foxes are afraid of the hens. I really need to work on my accuracy. Oh, look at her. It's like Neo. He should have found some oh, no. <laughs> no now they're that is bad. If you need to get in there on your shift, the code is 2847. Alright, so. Okay, yeah, that didn't go so well. Burnt through two first aid kits, a lot of ammo. Ugh. Could have been much, much better. This glass here is. Proving itself to be kind of a problem for me. Hopefully, I can sneak it, sneak around it. All right. No! Oh, are you kidding me? I clearly had him. This guy took literally no damage. That's fun. I'm exactly gonna have to use this guy again. Okay, they're. they're all right. Who's out there? Okay. Come on. Never stop fighting. How did he see me? This guy's got like, I don't know, x-ray vision or some shit like that. Look at this guy's health. It doesn't go down. This guy's made out of like titanium alloy or something. Jesus. Okay, well, that's problematic. I hit the... I hit the damn audio diary button again. All right, well. It's getting so the foxes are afraid of the hens. Hopefully this does something. He was going to hire a bunch of goons to keep an eye on the handyman. He should have found someone less okay. yellow in the belly. Now they're hiding Let's see here. Anything else? Anything else? Anybody else want some? Guard room. If you need to get in there on your shift, the code is 2847. God, I don't like the Xbox 360 D-pad. I just don't. I'm sorry. They definitely improved it big time with the Xbox One controller, but the 360 D-pad is just a joke. It's the only gripe I have with the uh, the 360 controller. Otherwise, I like it a lot, but the D-pad is just awful. Anyway, enough bitching about the controller. See where she went? Got to deal with this guy here. I think he's upstairs. I believe. I wonder if I can actually do a, uh, a skyhook drop on him. Okay, I don't know how I missed that. Let's give this another try. Come on. There we go. Okay, this guy's being a little bitch. Fine. You want to play that way? I can play that way. No problem. All right, well... That guy took so much damage. I think I hit him at least four times with my shotgun. He took, I think, like, a sliver. All right, looks like we've got some home movies. Big Daddy. And I guess that's looking at him through a tear. I could have sworn I've been in this room before, haven't I? This seems vaguely familiar. And it looks like the video is just kind of repeating itself over and over again. All right, well, I think that's enough of that. So, anyway, we should probably move on. I'm trying to remember exactly where we came in from. I think we came in through the uh, 
the yeah through the Lady Comstock airship. That's right. So we have to go through all of these labs, unless there's a shorter way to get there. Which there indeed appears to be. I could have sworn that's where I came from, wasn't it? Or, or is there some other switch I need to pull or something like that? Nope, the arrow is telling me to go a completely different way. All right, well. What's down here? Oh, I haven't been here before. Okay, well, let's do some exploring. Oh, oh, yes, I have. Oh, okay, yeah, definitely. All right, so, yeah, we are definitely uh, moving along in the right direction. That's right, we pulled the lever, and it kind of opened up all the security doors. Of course, of course. Yeah, that makes total sense. All right, so. All right, well, then, I guess all we have left to do here is to get... The show on the road and to find our way back into Rapture. Which probably means lots and lots of backtracking. How much you want to bet that enemies have respawned along our path? Any takers? What you got there? They're not. Just grabbing anything that looks halfway there. Ah! Damn it. Well, that complicates things. Okay, well, oh man, I got no ammo. This is shit. <laughs> this is bad. Oh god, don't kill me. Okay, okay, desperate times. Desperate times. You have to make some uh, pretty heavy use of this possession plasmid here. Okay. Oh, that was a little too close. I got my uh, that got my blood pumping a little bit. I'm not going to lie. Is he still alive? Or is that my guy? The guy I possessed, I think. Okay, nope, there's one more here. Um, I have my doubts about that. Okay, yeah, that was, uh, that was quite intense. Okay, well, I am, I am definitely in some dire need for more ammunition. I mean, they gave me a couple of tranquilizer darts, so I guess that's better than nothing. But two darts, you know, that's, that's not much. If I get spotted by another group of enemies, I mean, I'll, <laughs> I'll, be in, I'll be in pretty bad shape. Okay, so it seems like I've uh, sort of searched everything here already. Kind of looking around to see if anything's changed, but it doesn't really seem like it. So I guess there's only one way to go, which is up. Do you think Daisy really even had a choice? What do you mean? Right about now, I'm planting a pair of scissors in her back to protect a child she was never going to harm. She chose to die for her revolution. What about me? For all the endless worlds, all the infinite possibilities. Did I ever even have a choice? Did you? Yeah. Booker thought he did. Look where it got us. Right back where we started. Elizabeth, you've got a very pessimistic attitude right now. All these infinite universes. And yet we end up just going down the same paths. No, I'll take your meaning. My father sold me to settle a marker. Comstock locked me up in a tower. And I sold Sally for what? Revenge to prove a point? And yet, here you are, settling the debt. And say we find her. The old past their damage to the young. Isn't it too late for her now? Well, I'd say that's up to her to decide. Justice coming back here was up to you. Rapture runs on children. Little girls with gold growing in their bellies. I'm not going to break any cycle. If I'm lucky, maybe I can dent it. Just a little. Elizabeth. Yeah, fix that attitude, man. Happy thoughts, right? 
Okay, well this looks promising. Come on. Ah! Well, come on, man. That wasn't even fair. Okay, luckily there was nobody here to hear that, so... No harm, no foul, I guess. Okay, these guys are definitely new, because I know the first time I came through here, I did a pretty thorough job of searching all the bodies. Okay, so let's try and uh, buy some ammo here. And whatever other supplies I might be able to muster. Oops! I didn't mean to buy so many. Ah! Okay, well, you know what? Two health kits. That's good. That's good. And maybe I'll find some more ammo just kind of lying, lying around. I don't know. You know, happy thoughts, right? Got a little bit of ammo here. Whoa! That wasn't here last time. Yeah, some serious shit went down here when I was gone. Any other bodies here for me to loot? Please say yes. I do need it. That was a misclick, by the way. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm not that stupid. Anyway, they're giving me a lot of stuff now. This makes me think that there's probably going to be some kind of a boss fight coming up. And truth be told, I'm getting the feeling that we're coming close to the end of this DLC. I never actually tried this guy. Let me give this a try. Or, sorry, Skyline, not Skyhook. Does it go anywhere? Maybe somewhere with some supplies that I can use? Uh, not so much. It seems like it just kind of goes around in a circle. Alright, well... Let's see, how did I get down here? I think I, like, I, I dropped down somewhere. But I know I came in through the airship. Looks like I'm going to have to look around a little bit. Alright, so apparently it is up here. Oh, this door wasn't open last time, and it's Daisy Fitzroy. Looks like Elizabeth's already killed her. Change. That's what the people need. But sometimes I feel all I have to offer them is blood and fire. The things they've done to me, I can't forget them. I was Columbia. Pretty Lily has the hair. And victimhood begets shame. Deal is deal. Bring it to Sujong. I'm rotted from the inside out. What do I have to offer this rep? All right. So we are now back in Rapture. Okay. So I th I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure we're nearing the end. That was cool, though. I enjoyed going back to Colombia. It was a nice surprise. But this uh, this definitely has me very curious to see how this might end. Pretty lady put hair sample in tube. Then, business is finished. What's going on out there? Bloodshed, violence, but not relevant to our arrangement. Yeah, well, it is relevant to my well-being, so... A little concerning. Su Chong. Su Chong, we had a deal now. Open. Uh oh. What they call someone who enters a man's home uninvited. A thief. And I do not remember inviting you into my city. I had a deal with Su Chong. Su Chong is my employee. It was not a deal he was authorized to make. What do you want? I granted Atlas and his thugs a sign. You serve those same men in a desire to escape from my generosity. If they shall not have asylum, then they shall have liquidation. Give a parasite an ounce of charity. He'll demand a pound. I'm just looking for a girl that was taken from me. A little sister. I don't claim to understand what you are. But I know that you are special. There is business we can do together. And so I give you a choice. Work for me or die with Atlas. I'm not going anywhere without that girl. If it's a little sister you want, that shouldn't stand in the way of commerce. I've got dozens of them. 
I won't leave without her. My men stand ready to take down the door. In 60 seconds, they will enter the room. They will either treat you as a valued employee of Ryan Industries, or as a thief in the night. Oh boy, this is gonna be rough. 60 seconds. There must be half a dozen of them or more. I've gotta get ready. Yes, I do. I can use the plasmids as traps in it and seed the room with them. Right. I gotta find somewhere to hide and, and surprise them. Take them down one by one. Booker, I'm scared. They'll underestimate you, Elizabeth. People always do. 40 seconds. You know what I see on your face? Uncertainty. Who is this girl to you? 30 seconds. Do you know the value of the shark? Without them, she would be littered with the detritus of the weak. The men who come for you have much in common with those great animals. What sharks do for the ocean, these men do for rapture. 20 seconds. I will tell you something you already sense. Atlas does not honor agreements, and Orion does. I cannot save your Sally, but I can save you. Oh boy. This is gonna be rough. Time. You're not a hero. You're not even a parasite. You're just a room. And Andrew Ryan has no time for rooms. Alright, it's go time! Oh, they got one of those guys. Damn Houdini splicers. Should have never stuck his neck. I could have sworn I threw a trap in that door. Maybe I didn't. All right. Your numbers up. How you doing, buddy? Just gotta keep playing it smart, gotta keep using that strategy. Okay. Oh, never mind, there's more. What? This guy didn't go down. Okay, well that's uh that's not good. <laughs> My plasmids don't work on him. A tranquilizer dart just stuns him. Okay, well, we're gonna have to probably take this guy out through conventional means. Let's make this easy. DM both of us. Okay, yeah. That's suit. not working. We're gonna have to probably hit him with the uh, with the actual guns here. That was a really bad shot. I don't know what the hell I was doing there. Yeah, I really, like, I understand why they made these guns so weak, but I kind of miss the old shotgun where you just one-shotted everything. Although it did make things a little too easy, but still, still, I really like that. Oh. 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 Oh, I don't think so, buddy. Okay, well. Ah. Uh, come on, there's got to be more ammo here somewhere. This guy's got a lot of health. My gosh. Okay, that one should have hit. That one definitely should have hit. Okay, I think all we've got left of this Houdini splicer kind of... Uh, this guy, I mean, the, the only problem with this guy is he just does not... Like, the tranquilizer darts nor the uh, plasmid seem to work on him. And that wouldn't be such a big problem if I actually had a sufficient amount of ammo, which I don't. I gotta find something somewhere. Nope, that's probably not where I want to go. Money's fine if there were something I could, you know, somewhere I could use it. Okay. Gotta be a little creative here, I think. 
Okay, he's getting low. He's getting low. We're making progress. I think we can do this. Just gotta choose my shots wisely. Just can't waste it on random shit, and we're good. Like that. Don't want to do that. That's bad. All right, we got this, and only this. This radar range. Come on. Oh boy, that was rough. I beat your sharks, Ryan. The better man won. Isn't that the only thing you respect? Now let me the hell out of here. Okay. Sounds like all hell's breaking loose out there. What's your plan? I can't just place the particle on the ceiling. It would just tear right through it. But every building in Rapture was submerged into the ocean on a lunette ring, connected to the junction of its load-bearing supports. That's fascinating and all, but if you haven't noticed, Ryan sent his goons to murder us. If you're gonna pull a rabbit out of a hat, now's the time to do it. Looks like the structural junction is in Frank Fontaine's office. If I can get there, I can float the building. It so happens I've taken that bastard's office for my own use. I'll make sure you've access to the private elevator. Now hurry. All right, well, go to Fontaine's office. Here are lots of gunshots out there. Should pro probably be very, very wary of what lies ahead. And the lack of ammunition here means that we can't really engage these guys head on. I think best case scenario, we can just kind of slide past them without being spotted. Best case scenario, of course. However, <laughs> thus far, it's never really worked out quite that well. All right. Here goes nothing. Okay, so we want to go the opposite way of that. I keep my ears open for these guys. Make sure I don't get spotted inadvertently. That would be probably, probably fatal. Honestly. I got no health and no ammo, so that would be a no-go. Alright, take it nice and easy. Alright, this guy's starting to sketch me out a little. Okay, we're so close. I can feel it. Alright, come on. Oh, I don't want to go up there. That is where I don't want to go. Okay. Alright, nice and easy. <laughs> we did it. I think we did it. I think we managed to get through here without being spotted. Okay, that is a first. That is absolutely a first. I didn't think I'd actually be able to pull that off. Alright, well. Well, I think that's probably... Probably a good place to end it. If you guys enjoyed it, please write and comment. It is a huge help. And I will see you guys next time.